Hey guys, Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. Uh, back with a really minor sort of tweak to my brewing setup. I thought I would uh, kind of show you guys. Um, I've been in the market for potentially upgrading my brew, either my electric brew in a bag system or maybe something a little bit more expensive, like um, either a 10 gallon, maybe two vessel system. I've been looking at one from Warthog and stuff like that. So in the meantime, while I'm thinking about that and saving up some money, I decided to kind of piecemeal together um, a recirculation sort of setup for myself. Um, you can kind of hear it right now. Yeah. And I'm going to um, flip the camera around. I'll show you a better idea. So this is my Brewer's Edge mash and boil. Did not come with a pump or anything like that. So what I was a what I thought I would take a, a, a crack at is a recirculation sort of setup. Um, so I, I got the the half inch food grade silicone tubing uh, from my out. I got this pump off of Amazon for like twenty four bucks twenty twenty two ninety nine, uh, and it is good for temperatures up to two hundred and twelve degrees, which. Uh, I probably won't be using it during the boil, so I'll be using that potentially to recirculate um, to keep my temperatures even from the bottom to the top uh, during mash in. So you're talking about temperatures in the 150s range. Um, and it is only a two, 2.1 gallons per minute sort of flow, um, but you can see a an okay sort of whirlpool action without having to get too crazy technical with with um, drilling an extra hole in your pot with with valves ball lock valves and um, you know extra hardware X Y and Z so I got this is um, I think it's like officially 10 feet of silic uh, silicone food grade tubing um, and then I wasn't really quite sure. This is a spiral, um, a spiral tip sort of, of sprayer head. Um, I think it really does distribute the, the water better. If it was under a little bit more pressure, you're gonna get more of a cone and a spraying effect. But for now, I, I don't think that's terrible. It, it gives it something better than just a straight cylindrical sort of output from just a tube. Do you know what I mean? And I was thinking about um, potentially drilling a hole in the top of, of the lid here um, and having, having this peek out the top. And then these little barbs came with the pump, maybe screwing that into the top to meet it so that it, it kind of um, cinches down. Um, this is a little, this barb is a little bit too small for the tubing. So I'm going to see if I can't find a little bit larger diameter, half inch, um, barb that will fit better into that tubing right there. But honestly, I mean, for, um, a grand total of say 22, 25 bucks, the tubing was like maybe seven bucks, 32, the nozzle was 10. So a grand total of of under $50, we're talking about uh, maybe just a slight upgrade to a nice budget sort of electric brew in the bag system. I don't know. Um, I just basically have this hooked up for now just to kind of keep it um, secure while I'm talking on video. Uh, the only thing I will note is that there is no on and off switch with this pump. So like hook it up while it's disconnected from the power and then, and then make sure your your hoses are secured and then un, unplug it or plug it in you can hear you can hear it um going so i really thought it was cool um i, I don't really see any problems here uh it'll be e it's a real easy on and off from the kettle i could see just uh throwing that into the sink um with some star sand in the sink and just letting it recirculate through the pump after a, a brew day for sanitization um yeah I'm, I'm actually really 
pleasantly surprised by this little upgrade. And now I've got the itch to stink and brew again. You know what I mean? So, so that's really about it for me. Um, let me know what you guys think of my little setup. There's a chip shot with Strata um, fermenting in the background. And you can see my other project I'm doing a video on right now is uh, that's my freezer door that I've modified and kind of did, did like a little wood mosaic. And you can see the other stained wood that's going to be going on the regular kegerator refrigerator door in the background. So got a couple of things going on. I'm trying to, trying to stay uh, occupied during this quarantine. You know what I mean? So I appreciate all the clicks and the watches and everything like that. I'll see you guys as soon as we can get out and about around town. Cheers.